What's happening guys, welcome back. So, the last videos on the Mark on Golf and painting it seem to have gone down really, really well. Thank you all so much for the positive feedback, all the nice positive comments. It still blows me away that I've done that and the finish is as good as it is. I'm so happy with it. So yes, that is the shell done. What we now need to do is get the shell out and get all of the other parts in. But first, we need to tidy this absolute tip of a workshop up. We might not look it, but it's a little bit cleaner. Uh, we've moved a load of rubbish. We've got the Mark 1 out as well. It's on its trolley. I've made, very badly made, some little legs uh, that go to the rear beam mount points and to the front um, arm mount points. Just because before it was sitting on those front lower arm points um, and it was sitting on a bit of wood across the width on the sills before, but I don't want to go damaging the paint or scratching the paint. So now none of the paint is touching anything other than where it's bolted and we've put washers on to keep them away from the paint. So now everything is in, or we're getting everything in the boot, ready to start body working, high build priming, sorting all these bits out. We've got a little parcel turn up from the guys at GT Air, which are some panel stands so we can stand the doors on them, stand them up and get all the way around the doors in one it. So let's get these open, get these built and get them doors slung on them. We are then stand with the doors on so you've got little hooks that hook in and it's nice and thin so you can get plenty of paint on they're on there both them doors are on winds are on there tailgates on there bonnets on there what i really need to do now is get all the paint off that sunroof and do what i really don't want to be doing anymore sanding 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 so we need to get the paint off the sunroof and then we need to go over and Wipe everywhere over with some um, 180 grit sandpaper um, to then give us a keyed surface to then be able to high build prime the backs, um, backs of the tailgate, the back of the bonnet. We'll do the outside of the wings while we're here and then we can do all the way around the doors and then we've just got to flip the bonnet and the tailgate to be able to put high build on the outside of those when it has gone off. So... I'm not going to film it because it's sanding. You'll see me back here when we're ready to start throwing some high build primer on all of these bits. Here we go then. Wall is put back. Doors, wings, tailgate, bonnet, and the other door have all been um, sanded down um, for the um, epoxy that was on there to key the area up. Now, yes, every single one has now got dark grey lines in it. That is etch primer. Beware of sand it through um but now that's just one k out of a rattle can that's been on for a good 15 20 minutes now it is now dry so i'm going to quickly wipe over everywhere again make sure there's no dust on anywhere mix up some high build primer and we're going to hit everything here that we can So everything was epoxy primed, flatted back, then has had two to three on some coats of um, high build primer. And again, I've gone back and focused on edges and things, trying to make sure that we've got plenty of material on there so that when we, which is going to be the next step, guide coat them and block them back. Um, but I'm going to be leaving these for a couple of days to go off. Um, 
we've had, had the heater on with the fans on and it was sat at about 70 degrees. When I'd finished spraying, a couple of minutes after, I'd left the fans on to pull as much of the um, overspray out of the air, if you like, out. Turn the fans off, heater stayed on, and we got it up to, it gets up to about 60 degrees in here, which this um, Capsi High Build Primer at 60 degrees, this is baked off after 20 minutes, um, as opposed, I think, at 20 degrees, it's three to four hours. Um, but because it's been cold, it's been warm, it's been cold, it's been warm, I'm going to leave this now for a couple of days just to shrink back and make sure that it has fully settled down before we go um blocking it all down which is then yet again more sanding but hopefully the last bit of sanding we can block it all down and then get it ready let's get it all painted in red which i'm hoping fingers crossed is going to be this week but i'm not going to be in here for a bit i'm not in here a lot this week because i'm waiting for a phone call something very exciting is happening which i'll explain a bit more about in a week or two when we know what's going on um but yeah all looking good I'm all done to a point. So, see you back again in a couple of days. I'm going to start putting some paint on all that lot. Good day to you all. So, welcome back. And we are in the booth. All of the doors, the wings, sunroof, the tailgate, the bonnet have now all been uh, blocked out. Um, so, I've done the same process I did on the car, blocked them out with the block set and the uh, 240 Abronet sandpaper if you like uh, and I've then gone over with 500 on a DA and then the 400 um, Merca little soft sun sponge sanding pads to get everywhere and make sure we've got all the scratches and everything out of those which we have now done. I have wet, I've cleaned down the booth really, I've done all the prep and everything in there, so I've cleaned everywhere down, I've spent a good probably hour and a half cleaning it down, we've cleaned um, we blew everything down, swept it, blew everything down, swept it, blew everything down again, all with the fans on. We've then gone round and hoovered the floor and then we've wet the floor. And as you can see, these bits here are where the water is picking up any dirt that is in the air. I might go a little bit carried away and put a little bit too much water on the floor. We should be careful walking around and nothing's really that low in it. So, what we can do now or what I've also done, sorry. I've been over and uh, panel wiped everything that we're gonna be throwing paint on today. Um, I've also been around and tap wrecked everything. I'm gonna go and get some paint mixed up, get the gun all ready. I've got the heater on in here, or I've just turned it off to do this, but we're gonna get it up to a nice temperature to be able to paint. And then we shall be able to throw some paint on. I'm gonna tap rag everything again. Um, before we start, just so we know that everything's nice and clean, and then start throwing some paint around. So, throw the heat back on, I'll make some paint. See you in a minute. Apologies for the camera angle on this. It's only as I'm sat here editing the video, I've realized that the angle of the camera was quite off and you can't really see a massive amount of what I'm doing. Apologies, I will improve for the next one.
Now we have the insides of all of these and both sides of the doors. And look at the finish on them little beauties. Straight, shiny. We've got a bit excited through a little bit more paint on there, but we're looking good. The backs of the wings. Now these, they're not the best paint, but this is the back of a wing. It don't really matter. There's the colour on it. It looks good. They're sealed. They've got stone chip on. We're happy. Back of the bonnet, looking pretty cool. Looking nice. Back of the tailgate again. Got a good couple of things. Got three, everything's got three coats on it. So that's looking good. Some roof has got some paint on it. It's not really seen. But yeah, doors are looking sick. Back to the doors. Where's scene? He's looking pretty sick too. So I've had it sat at uh, 60 degrees in here for 45, 50 minutes now, um, which meaning the panels, you can't even touch them, they're that warm. Um, so the panels are warm and baked off. Um, I've now got to leave it all for an hour or so to cool down. Uh, so I'm going to go home, have some dinner, and then I'm going to come back and we will turn over this end. So the tailgate, the sunroof, the wings and the bonnet. And we shall get the outsides of those painted. And then that is all of the painting done. And I cannot wait for it all to be done because I'm getting bored of painting. I just want to start bolting it all back together. It's far too hot in there. So see you in a bit. I'll come back. And we'll throw some more paint. And two hours later, we are back. So everything is feeling all nice, gone off. It has definitely, definitely gone off now. Everything's feeling real good. So what we're going to do now, we're going to get the doors out of here because I want to try and put the bonnet on one of these stands. Um, the wings, we're going to hang over the edge of there like that. And I've got a bit of wood so we're going to have one either side and we've got a bit of wood that will stand them out a little bit so we can get around them a bit easier. Sunroof will just turn over, tailgate will just turn over. Wet the floor again, mix some paint, throw a bit around. And I've just realised that I've left my bag at home, which has got my GoPros in. So I'll get this done and you'll see me all when it is all painted. There we go then. Everything for that car is now painted. What a massive, massive milestone to have reached. The outside of the bonnet is done now. This, you know, like we like to be, we like to be honest on it. I'm not overly happy with this. There's some uh, fish eyes in it there, which I'm not happy about. So we're gonna have to let that all go off and then do a bit of research as to what we're gonna do to sort them out. Probably you have to flat the whole thing back um, and yeah, do that again. We're not happy with that. Uh, wings, pretty happy with. They're pretty good. There's a couple of bits in the paint, but again, where we are, grand scheme, I don't think we've done too bad. That one, again, looks pretty good. Sunroof, does what it does. It's covered, looks nice. A few bits in the paint again, but hopefully we'll be able to get them out. And then the boot, looking nice. And then where we've deleted all the wiper and stuff, again, there's a few bits in that paint as well, but... We've had three good coats, so there's plenty to cut back. So like I say, that is another massive milestone of having all of those parts finally done. All had three real good coats, um, or a coat to get it to sort of, a light coat to get it to stick, then two really good, quite heavy coats um, on it. And yeah, I don't think we've done too bad, I need to get out there because it's very, very, very warm. Out here, other than mess, which apparently I've made yet again, these doors were baked and sat and dried off, and now they're sat there ready to go back on to the car. So that is all of the painting done. The shell is looking absolutely amazing, as are all of the other panels. I'm so happy with the way that all of this is finished and turned out they look absolutely amazing we're so close to the image i've had in my head that has helped me get through all of this which is that car with all its panels on sat on that lift ready for us to start bolting all of the other parts back onto so i want to say a huge thank you to breakwell's paints for sponsoring the channel sponsoring this series and helping me out with all of the paint for the car i want to say a massive thank you to gtf for helping me out with the compressor the panel stands and a few other bits and pieces as well and I want to say a massive thank you to Tony's Refinishing for all of your help, advice and everything 
Without all of you guys, none of this would have been possible and we would not have got the finish that we have on this. I just want to throw in there a little thank you to the wife, Abigail, as well, for just putting up with me in general, really. So, yeah, thank you very much, everybody. So, I have no idea what we're going to be doing in the next one. Probably going to start off with tidying this place up and trying to sort a few of these bits out. We've got to go through all of that, find out what we can find. But we should leave that one there then, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Until next time, enjoy. Enjoy.